Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a loaded pistol cocktail. And you know what? It sounds fantastic, right? Just the name alone. Having said that, this is a variation of the original, and I'm using the version that I find in this book called Pour Me Another by J.M. Hearst. And he actually was inspired by the original cocktail that was created by Eric Castro at the Polite Provisions in San Diego. That being said, the ratios are different. In fact, one of the ingredients is a complete swap, and I'm not garnishing it with grasshopper salt. And by the way, that's a combination of and actual grasshopper blended together, because there's no way I'm picking grasshopper legs out of my teeth. Anyways, this is a stirred cocktail, so grab yourself a stirring vessel, and we're going to start with mezcal. Now, I'm using Madre Mezcal. Um, use whatever mezcal you prefer but the ratios are completely different. In this case, I'm using two and a half ounces, which is 75 milliliters, versus the original ounce and a half. Your second ingredient is a sweet vermouth. Now, I'm using Martini Rosso. Uh, you could use whatever you want. In fact, this will allow you to vary the flavors of the cocktail slightly by trying slightly different types. Now, uh, the original recipe called for three quarters of an ounce, which is uh, 22 and a half mils. However, this version calls for half an ounce or 15 mils. Your third ingredient is a herbal liqueur. In this case, I'm going to be using a little bit of green chartreuse. Now, the original recipe calls for Strega, which is uh, a slightly more anise forward version of yellow chartreuse. And because this is a higher ABV or alcohol by volume at 50%, uh, the amount is actually cut down from half an ounce to a quarter of an ounce, which is seven and a half mils. Your next ingredient is supposed to be grapefruit bitters, and that's by any version that I've seen. However, I'm gonna do something slightly different. I'm going to use orange bitters because I don't have grapefruit bitters at this time on my bar. So this is where you can make slight adjustments to be able to make a cocktail do what you want it to and get the flavors you want. And for that, we need a total of one dash. Now your next ingredient is completely at odds with the original cocktail. That cocktail does not call for any salt in the cocktail, whereas this version does call for a little bit of kosher salt, and he actually specifies that you should use six to eight grains, which is gonna be really finicky, especially if you're doing that. So what we're going to use is a little bit of kosher salt, and we're just going to add in a very small pinch. All right, now that you've added all of this, what we're going to do is stir this with some ice. So we wanna fill our stirring vessel about three quarters of the way with ice. And you don't have to fill it all the way because all you're doing at this point is uh, chilling the glass, but there's only so much water you're going to actually add into this. So what you wanna do is you just wanna stir this for a good 15 to 30 seconds. Once you finish stirring it, just give it a slight test. Okay, perfect. Make sure it's exactly where you want it. If you need to stir it a bit more, you can after that, in case you need to get that dilution down just a little bit. Grab yourself your glass of choice because I feel like doing this in an up style. You could do this in a rocks glass over a solid chunk of ice, totally up to you. And we'll just pour this in. Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now we're not going to garnish it because there's nothing in this that requires a secondary garnish and we're not putting grasshopper legs in our teeth. So let's give it a try. So this is a muted cocktail. You can actually smell a little bit of the smoke and a little bit of the um, sweet vermouth, but that's it. Oh, that is strong. The smoke comes roaring right through. In fact, uh, it's slightly tempered by the sweet vermouth and you have just a few of the herbal notes and the citrus in there. Other than that, it is a fantastic mezcal cocktail. Light, fluffy, easy to sip. Did I say fluffy? I did. Anyways, if you like cocktails like this, take a look right here after the recipe card.